about new absolute conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the world's smallest humanoid robot. This here is iSobot from Tommy, a company that makes a lot of different products such as RC cars, toys, even a robot. This robot stands about 6 inches tall, which makes it the world's smallest humanoid robot. How cool is that? Now, not to mention, it can actually even dance, sing, even do impersonations. So seeing it function should be a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. Alright, so this here's our box and it's actually got a really cool looking like shiny metallic finish to it. Almost gets me a little pumped up to see what's inside. Now you do see a little like a transparent case where it says the letter I and you can actually see the little robot inside there which is really cool. Now it also comes with a handle so you can take it wherever you want to go. And then yeah, literally this thing just kind of opens like that. Whoa! Check that out. That is really cool. So you see the robot as well as a remote control and then a little bit more in terms of detail. So there's four different play modes. So you have a remote control mode, a programming mode, as well as a special action and a voice command. That's a lot of different functionality out of something this small. Now, right away, I can tell you, this guy is actually really tiny, especially all the other robots we've seen. Uh, so it being the world's smallest humanoid robot is actually true, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we have a plastic casing here, it kind of just lifts off just like that, I'm just going to put that to the side, uh, and then we have ourselves a remote. Now you can see that right there, there's actually a lot of different buttons as well as different functionalities on this thing. So I see like a gold button, a P, K, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a bunch of different letters, and you got two joysticks as well as two triggers on the top. So you got a little screen here as well, I think it kind of tells you what's going on with it. And then uh, on the back here some batteries that go in here. And yeah, for something that's made in 2007, you know, being about 10 or what, 11 years now, that's actually pretty cool looking stuff. Uh, so over here we have ourselves our cool looking uh, tiny little robot. Uh, so this here is iSobot. Wow, this guy actually looks quite interesting. Uh, you can actually see he's got a lot of different joints, so it's actually a lot of different movements. Um, and he's got, looks like, opposable thumbs, but they don't seem to have any servos in them, so I don't really see the point of it. But uh, then we have on the top here, like, a little laser or infrared, so the fact that you can track even his head moves, that's actually really neat. Um, most of the bigger robots we've seen don't really have that functionality. Now, the only other thing is uh, it looks like it does take AAA batteries, but it does come with rechargeable ones, so that's always a plus as well. Now, finding this kind of robot is really difficult, especially in this kind of a condition, just because they're very highly sought after, so keep that in mind when you're looking to buy one. Now, over here we have ourselves an instruction manual. Uh, make sure you do get this as well, because this thing is quite complicated, uh, mainly because if you look at the instruction manual itself, it'll tell you all these different commands. For instance, if we hit the letter one, so if we hit the number one and then hit the letter P, it'll do a left punch. So uh, we have ourselves like a cool looking fighting mode in here as well. And then among other things, so that's all martial arts. Check out all those commands. We have like a high left kick, a uh, roundabout kick, uh, a split, even uh, like a backway sway and a duck and a dodge. So that's actually pretty nice. You can even get up if he falls down. Uh, you can actually operate his head as well as hips. Uh, different gestures, even like impersonations as well. This is actually pretty neat. And then we have voice con control mode as well, which is really nice. Uh, so we can actually tell them to do certain things. So seeing all this stuff should be quite interesting. Now this here is our little cheat sheet, or more or less all the commands on one sheet. So we have a variety of different things from showcases down to special actions, uh, even the uh, kick actions, guard actions, punch actions, and a lot of different phrases and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and put some batteries in this guy and see what he's all about. Alright, so our robot is finally ready to go. I put the uh, three AAA batteries in here and three AA batteries in the remote. So there's an on off switch in the back here. One's like a remote mode and one's like a automatic mode. So we're gonna turn them on and you'll see his light going right there. <laughs> so he does a little greeting.
Check that out. So our controller mode is finally on. Uh, so right away I'm gonna look at this right here. This here is like a, our little cheat sheet kind of talking about all the different things we can do. So on the controller itself we have a joystick. So this will control the movement of the robot itself. So you can make it move forward, you can move left and right, and just go in the full 360 motion. Now on top of that on the right hand side here you can move his head. So you can actually rotate it left and right which is really cool. So let's go put it back straight. And then over here we have a few different commands that we can do. So for instance, these here are punches. So what we do is like one and P on here. So punch. Uh, and then you have like a few other ones as well, like a combo, uh, as well as like a chop. So let's try this here. So let's do a one, two, three, four, and punch. I'm gonna do a chop. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, and then, you know, obviously you get some kick actions as well. So this here is a roundhouse kick. So one kick. So this is a kick. <laughs> this here is a roundhouse kick. So one kick. Oh! <laughs> and then we have a few other ones as well. Here's a side kick. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Uh, we got a combo kick. Let's see how that looks. So one, two, three, four, and kick. So a front kick. Uh, side kick. Ooh. <laughs> He's actually uh, quite a little fighter. That was actually pretty cool. So, you know, these are a few other things. You can do like a split as well. So three, four, kick. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. And now he's gonna try getting up. Uh, oh, okay, that's a very strange way of getting up. Yeah, I have to know, this robot is over 10 years old. And yet he can do all these functions, it's really crazy. Now, these are some guard actions, so we do one and G and hit go. That's like him kind of like defending himself. And then we have some common phrases and greetings. So we can do like good morning. So one, two, and uh, eight. Good morning. <laughs> good morning to you, I saw that. Uh, and we have some greetings as well. Uh, some bye, some thank yous, some respects, and love. So let's try love. One, 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 A, and go. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> um, this is number two. Let's try that. I love you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that, that's actually quite interesting. They have these kind of phrases and stuff that you can do in here. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more different actions here, but we're gonna go and flip it over and look at the emotional actions. Now, this here is excited. So I'm gonna do one and four, and I'm gonna hit the letter B. So he does a little Yahoo! Uh, and then uh, you got like regrets. Uh, let's try that. So regrets 2, 4, B. Wow! I could have had a WD 40! Alright. <laughs> uh, and then we have pain. Uh, kind of curious to see how a robot acts in pain. Oh, like a dagger in my heart! <laughs> He's like, my heart's um, hilarious. 1, 3, 4, and B. All right, and then we have, <laughs> have some other showcase actions. We have hide and seek. Uh, we have tipsy. Tipsy? Really? Uh, let's try that. One, three, two, and a. Okay, officer. I can this line. I only have two cans of motor oil. Two cans of motor oil. I've never seen a robot drunk before. That's, this is a first. This is a first. It's kind of weird in a way, but it's kind of creepy too at the same time. What is up with that laugh? If I have a nightmare tonight, I know why. Okay, 
So that's the first and last time I'll ever see a robot drunk. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so we have Tickle Me I Sobot. One, four, one, and the letter B. So you just lay down? Oh. Gucci, 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 Gucci. He's a, that was actually quite interesting to see. Um, oh, okay, hey. Uh, uh, again, a very weird way of getting up. But he's up. All right, so that was that. Uh, we got tired feet. Let's try that. One, four, two, and B. He's actually sitting down. Okay, back door. All right, back up. Uh, we have applause. Let's try that. So one, three, three, and B. Good job, I saw about. Uh, and then two sexy. All right, let's see what that's all about. One, two, one, and B. <laughs> He's like posing. <laughs> and then we have a few other ones. We have like clink, relax. We have soccer. So let's try soccer. So it says two, two, three, and the letter B. Hey! So you like put a ball in front of them. You can actually like kick the ball. So you got some soccer moves. Uh, then we have lift. Uh, count on me, uh, show off. Let's try show off. So it's two, three, two, and B. Look at this, is him showing off. He's doing push ups. Uh, let's try trough three next. Two, two, four, and B. Did he just blow a kiss? <laughs> uh, pose. Uh, let's try this. Four, one, one, A, and go. Is he, is he dabbing? He has a legit dab. Oh! <laughs> uh, and this is before dab was even invented and he's dabbing. How crazy is that? It's probably invented because of this robot. Anyways. Mystery actions. Not sure what that is, but let's try this out. One, two, three, and B. That is definitely a mystery to me. Well, I don't know what that was. Uh, ooh, we got some special actions. Let's try this out. Now, we have a few different things. There's a forward somersault, so we don't really see too many robots doing that. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to hit A and go. And let's see him do a somersault. All right. Oh, good job. He actually did it. <laughs> now he's trying to get up. Him getting up is itself is like a complex action. And he's up. All right. So the next thing we'll look at is called uh, air guitar. Uh, kind of see, curious to see how that is. So we'll hit, uh, let's clear that out. We'll do B, 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 and go. Looks like a robotic rock music. <laughs> But look at his actions, check out those movements. Damn! Oh, look at him, he's like freestyling up there. Yeah, not bad, I saw that. Not bad at all. <laughs> so 
surprisingly, these animations are quite long, which is really good because it kind of gives you more feedback. Uh, so we have ourselves a random performance. Let's try that. So it's B, A, B, and go. This is Jap Japan Tears. Sounds really creepy. <laughs> so we're not gonna do that one. Uh, the next one's imitating an animal. So let's hear A, B, B, and go. Is that a gorilla? It's like banging the chest. Oh! <laughs> uh, let's try another one. A, B, B, go. So he's pretending to be a cat. <laughs> Alright, so this is an animal. I think he's a dog. Yeah, he's a dog. Thanks, <laughs> Pete. Alright, so the next thing we'll do is try a tropical dance. <laughs> it's like a Hawaiian theme. Like a hula. Hey, not bad. And then the next thing we'll look at is called the giant robot. So let's try that out. So it's A, B, A, and go. So you pretend like there's like a city underneath him and like crushing it as he's moving. Oh, look at that flesh. <laughs> so let's try out the Western movie scene. Uh, so this here is where he acts out a movie scene uh, in which he like portrays that he has a gun. So let's see how this works out. You ready, Isobot? So it's A, B, A, B, and go. Oh! Oh, he just dodged it. Oh, he dodged it again. Oh! No! I think he got shot. That acting. Nice shot, oh no! No! Poor Isobot. He's actually. I think he actually. He had legitimately just died. Our robot just died. Oh, he's back alive. That's actually some pretty good acting. All right. So the next thing we'll try out is the voice control mode. So I just put him in there, and then there's a few different phrases. So let's be like, uh, go forward. Yes. Alright, well there you have it. Overall, this robot's actually pretty cool. It actually comes with a lot of different things in a small size, and I literally do mean that. Now, it is quite loud, and in terms of functionality goes, uh, it is quite outdated, obviously, just because it is over 10 years old, but uh, for what it is, it's actually really amazing. Now, the fact that you can actually make it fight and do different impersonations and like air guitars and stuff, it's actually really cool. But yeah, there you guys have it. If you had any questions about the iSobot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.